measuring wealth is peace write it now in advance and thank me decades to come the highest index for measuring wealth for measuring um, relevance is peace the highest measure of wealth and freedom that's what I wrote here the highest measure of wealth and freedom is peace three scriptures quickly Romans chapter 5 verse 1 chapter 5 therefore being justified by faith koinonia read on with me we have peace with God hold on don't rush peace with God is different from the peace of God peace with God means I have made my way right with God with God it's not the same as the peace of God that you have made peace with God that means when I look at God I stand with joy knowing that there is no barrier that interrupts fellowship peace with God peace with God it says we are justified by faith and now with God most people do not have peace with God we may have money we may have titles and these things are not wrong we may have all of the things that people chase after but when you lack peace with God there is a serious problem because at the end of your life what will give you fulfillment is knowing that my ways are right with God look how the generals that transited in recent times transited Reinhard Bonke knowing that his time was almost there it was with joy and gladness he came to Nigeria preached his he knew it was his last message he said it he had raised Daniel Kolenda he had put everything in place and he said earth I see you when we join the cloud of witnesses to come and pick the rest he waved earth by peace with God these men knew where they were going. They were not hoping. No. Billy Graham, one of the few people who finished his assignment and remained and were just watching earth. You will know a man has finished his assignment. Set up the Billy Graham Institute and when it was time with honor and with joy, he waved his hand. Same thing, T.L. Osborne. There are people who wake up and say, where am I? They say, you are not on earth again. No. It's over. Is over. What happened? The last thing I know is that I left one city. I was hurrying up to go. It's over. Period. Where is my PA? It doesn't exist here. Where is my certificate? It doesn't exist here. Peace with God. John 14 27. It's a good Valentine message, isn't it? John 14, 27. <laughs> read on with me, Koinonia. Ready? One, to read. Peace, I live with you. Listen, listen, listen. Jesus is speaking here. Peace, I live with you. Among the many things he... Listen, there are two things the Bible tells us we should expect. One, peace. Two, the Holy Ghost. Peace, I live with you. You need it so much. Forget joy. It will come. But peace... I live with you my peace I give unto you not as the world gives it says give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid that means these two things will remain in your destiny until the peace of God comes to drive them out trouble fear will remain in your heart until the peace of God comes to build a garrison peace of God shalom nothing missing nothing broken a state of restfulness look at me the peace of God is not based on results the peace of God is a supernatural impartation of that dimension you can be in the midst of fire yet you are like the still waters 
if you are waiting for everything to be in place for you to have peace that's how the world gives but there is the peace of God that in spite of every storm in your life and your family it is true that you've not paid your rent it is true that things are you know AYR, your academics your life is true you've not had a child yet and people see you and you are completely restful because there are few things that are worth dying for there's a peace that I have in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these peace in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice comes it comes alive There are some of you who are doctors here. Look at me. Young people now are depressed over nothing. It's because they have not had this message. You see people wrinkled, you guess and say you are 40. Say, no, I just clocked 28. What has added your age like that? The trouble that continues to disturb people. I need to make it. I am not teaching you to be irresponsible. But hear me, you will die for nothing. And the world will bury you and keep moving. You need to learn to come to a point where you say, Hey, shut the door at every trouble and everything. And find rest. He leads me beside the steel. Life has a noisy way of depressing you. Left, right, till now you've not gotten a job. Till now you've not married. The child has not come. This has not happened. Today, Valentine, nobody called you again. You see, all those kinds of... Listen, listen to me. When those things happen, it's amazing. Your BP begins to rise. You know why? You are thinking nonsense. That is not the mind of Christ. And yet you can be completely at peace. Where will my school fees come from? Where will my rent come from? From. listen worry does not solve today's problem worry kills today's peace it kills today's opportunities it destroys tomorrow's door so that you cannot even make progress in your life jesus took a whole chapter to talk about worry listen this is a very powerful message learn peace now don't wait till they pay you salary. If your peace depends on your external environment, Satan has mastered you. It means you are about to die fast. Only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Not every time I receive an alert. Not every time I receive an award. Not every time I feel I am making progress. The voice of God is my peace. Ah. A state of restfulness not irresponsibility restfulness Lord you are in control why will you be awake and I'll be awake too one of us should sleep you have chosen that you do not sleep nor slumber so let me find sleep many people don't sleep because of all kinds of depression what is happening to my father what is happening to my mother and Satan just adjusts. hey do you know they just said that um, the land that your house was built upon there's supposed to be a road there and they're going ha, ha, what will I do and you see people no. say my soul find rest one more time prophesy say my soul find rest of God is not there. There can be an earthquake and he's not in it. There can be all kinds of winds and when all that nonsense is gone, then here he comes. The still small voice. Are we together? Do you know that every time we are troubled, we should change the power of God from coming to our lives. It is only when you are at rest. Even doctors will tell you when they want to carry out surgical operations on patients and they find out that their BP is vacillating, they will have to say, look, find a way of stabilizing these people emotionally. 
Is that true? They gather their family members to crack jokes. They find something that makes them happy. 